So you're going to a convention, but not sure how to interact with cosplayers and fursuiters. Well, I have some tips for you here. Hi, I'm Drogo, and in this video I will talk about the do's and don'ts of how to interact with cosplayers and fursuiters. And before we start, repeat after me. Costume is not consent. Just repeat that over and over again. So let's get to the tips first. Ask before giving a hug. Because some costumers, especially fursuiters, can see you. So if you're just go, uh, going from behind and just... They get confused and scared and some maybe have an... Yeah, just flip out or what you call it. So please... Don't hug before uh, ask before you hug. Please do that. It's easy. Just um, you see, first of all, have the side only here, and maybe from here also. So go in front of them and ask, "Can I have a hug?" And most times they will say yes. And if they say yes to a hug, or only hug. Please don't try to pick them up because <laughs> it may surprise you, but they don't want to be picked up. And three, uh, make sure the costumer, which means cosplayer or person or sees you. Uh, many cost, yeah, as I said before, many costumers have limited sight, so if you uh, want to say something or touch him or something. Go in, in front of them and give them a sign to you want to you want to chat or ask them something. Please do that. Don't just go from behind because they, would, they can easily get shocked when they can see who's behind them and you just poke poke. And four. Don't touch the costume without asking first. And again, because they. they you can't just uh, go from behind and just, just yeah, poke poke. They, they can see uh, see who's behind them. So please don't do that. Go in front of them and uh, make sure they see you and ask nicely if they can touch certain parts of their costumes. Most uh, most uh, costumers would say yes. So yes, ask nicely. And this um, uh, number five, mostly applied to fursuiters, don't pull the tails. Please don't do that. The fursuits are expensive costumes. You may accidentally rip the costumes by doing that. So again, ask for permission if you want to touch the tails. And six, don't just take the customer's props. Most props can be very fragile, so please don't do that. Ask nicely for permission before uh, touching their props. And then they may hand them to you. And if you do, be very careful. Please do that. Seven, ask before taking any photos. Because it, there's a human being under there, you just don't go around and take pictures behind their back. You, you just do it. don't do that. It's also illegal to do that. So ask for permission before taking a picture. And they will most likely say yes. Because especially if, yeah, I think it's applied to both first suitors and cosplayers that they most likely will say yes. Eight. Sometimes the costume might not be in the mood, mood for photos or to chat, so please don't take it personally. It's not because of you, they may be on their way to get food or something, so please don't get mad at them, just say, oh, alright, okay, and maybe try to find them later. 9. Watch out for costume parts and don't step on them. Um, some costumers have especially some 
uh, long capes or long tails. So please, please watch out and make sure you don't step on them. Uh, it's, some costumes can easily break if you accidentally step on them. So watch out for where, where you're going on a convention. Number 10. Don't follow or stalk the costumer. Yeah. Please, please don't do that. It's weird and creepy to do that. They have their own things to do and they don't have time for everybody. So please don't just stalk them or follow them. You most likely will get, get kicked out of the convention. So be nice to the customer and respect that they don't want to hang out with everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, mostly about fursuits, cosplays, how to craft them, tips and tricks. And check out my Patreon for more work. You get early access to videos. And until we see you next time, bye!